So today we're going to look at estimation and particularly on a number line. So when you are estimating on a number line, you need to have a range. That means what goes at the beginning and what goes at the end. So we're first of all going to look at a range of 0 to 10. And we're going to think about where the number 5, first of all, will go on our number line. Now we know that 5 is right in the middle of 0 and 10. So we're going to choose this part here to put 5 on. Now, if you're thinking about where the number 7 would go on the number line now, we're going to have a look. We're going to see where our 5 is. Now, we know that 7 comes 2 after 5, so it's not going to come in this part of the number line. It's going to come over here. So, being quite proximate, you're going to decide 6 will probably go about here. 7 would probably go around there. Now, thinking about where 2 might go on our empty number line, we know that 2 won't belong over here because 2 is less than 5. So it's going to come over in this side of the number line. Now we know that 1 will come around here, so 2 should be around there. Now, I'm going to now look at um, estimation using a different range. So if we're looking at a range of 0 to 50, we know that right in the middle of 0 and 50, we have 25. Now, I'm going to think about where 20 should go on my number line. We know that 20 should go between 0 and 25 because it is less than 25. Think about whether it should go closer to 0 or closer to 25. Now, it will go closer to 25 and it will be fairly close, so it should go around there, leaving enough space for the, the 5 in between 20 and 25. If we're thinking about where 10 should go, we know that 10 is less than 20, so it should go in this portion of the number line. And looking at where 0 is and where 20 is, we know that 10 should go right in the middle of 0 and 20. Thinking now about where 40 should go on our number line, we know that it shouldn't go between 0 and 25 because 40 is greater than 25, so it needs to go over here. Having a look at our range, we've got 25 and we've got 50. So decide whether 40 should go closer to 50 or closer to 25. And we know that it should be closer to 50 because 40 is only 10 less than 50, but it's 15 more than 25. So 40 should go approximately here, over halfway between 25 and 50.